Okay, so it's been recently announced that the director for the Daredevil reboot has been confirmed to be David Slade. Now, David Slade has done movies like Hard Candy, um, 30 Days of Night, and the newest Twilight movie. I don't really care at all about Twilight. I'm not going to say anything, but maybe later in a different video, but... I've heard Hard Candy is a it, it, Hard Candy is basically a horror movie. I haven't watched it, but I've heard it's a good movie. I've heard good things from Thirty Days of Night, and the writer also has been confirmed to be the same writer of the TV show Fringe. I haven't seen that either. So I'm really um blind eyed about this because I'm not really sure about any of this. I'm a bit I'm a big Daredevil fan. That doesn't mean I've read a lot of the major story arcs. I've read I've read most of Bendis's run, and I read the um the Kevin Smith Guardian Devil. But I I actually haven't read any of Frank Miller's stuff. I keep meaning to, but I want to get around to that. Which brings me to my next point, which is that there's a rumor that it's going to be based on the um the Frank Miller Daredevil book Born Again. Now I have heard I have heard that Born Again is a very very good book. I've I've read a bit of the beginning. Not much else, but basically what I know is that um Kingpin finds out who Daredevil is and messes up Matt Murdock's life and Matt Murdock has to go on some big quest venture thingy to prove that you know the costume doesn't make the hero. I uh, Sounds like a cool concept, but the thing is, if they're going to base it off that, then they, then that sounds like it's going to be maybe a sequel to the last Daredevil movie. Now, I have nothing against the last Daredevil movie. I have a lot against the producer who messed it up. I, I very much liked the, th the director's cut. The producer messed up the entire experience for me in the theater, though. I, but as I said, I'm very blind-eyed about this. I keep saying that, and I just noticed now that maybe that could be seen as a Daredevil joke. But, see, I haven't seen anything by David Slade. I haven't seen Fringe, which is the writer. And I haven't read Born Again, or any of much, more much of Frank Miller's stuff. Personally, I'm just going to say some thoughts about what, what maybe could make a good Daredevil movie. Now, everyone keeps saying you need an R-rated Daredevil movie. Now, I just want to clarify something, is that Daredevil himself should not be rated R. The environment and the people around him is R-rated. At, at, at an extreme extent. But Daredevil himself is not rated R. At most, he's rated G because of the fact that he's just so straight-edged and so goal-driven to do exactly what is right. I mean, yes, he does go over the edge, especially in Bendis' run with Bullseye. Went a little crazy there. But you know what? How can you blame him? Can't. But, um, I can't think of any casting choices. Personally, I thought Ben Affleck was a good Matt Murdock. He was a, an excellent Matt Murdock. He was a meh, meh, kind of a meh Daredevil. Yeah, kind of complicated to explain. I have no real casting choices at all, really. I can't think of anything. But as for um, characters, I would not want Electra. I know there's a rumor that's born again, but it hasn't been confirmed, so I'm just going to go on with other stuff. I'm pretty sure Electra is not in Born Again. I know Karen Page was first seen in Born Again. So, characters that I might like to see in the Daredevil movie. One thing I'd like to see is I'd like to see, um, I wouldn't like to see Kingpin. I want Kingpin to have a presence, but I don't want him to be there physically. I want people to, you know, maybe have rumors in the city and a word on the street about Kingpin and stuff, but n you never see him or hear him talk or anything. It, it's, it's just a presence that you over have an overall feeling of. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about having Bullseye in the movie. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe 
it would be a good idea just to show that this is a reboot. This, this is a different movie. But I'm still not even entirely sure. They have confirmed it's a reboot, though. Not true enough. Contradicts exactly what I just said. No, I don't know too many Daredevil villains. I know some, some okay ones and some terrible ones. First of all, I don't want Stilt Man. No Stilt Man. None at all. I don't want Stilt Man involved at all. And the thing is, I'm not even sure when this Daredevil movie is going to come out. Like, well, the only thing that they've confirmed is the director and the writer. They don't have any any actors written onto it. They don't. I'm not as far as I know. They don't have a script, so they don't have a confirmed date. They don't have anything on it at all. Meh. So, just naming off some villains, and I'll think I'll go through them and s see which ones might work. So, some Daredevil villains, um, well, Kingpin. Kingpin actually originally, s little fun fact if you hear, Kingpin started as a Spider-Man villain who was basically just kind of a fat guy, and and then Frank Miller took him and made him epic. The more you know. Little G.I. Joe moment there. Mm -hmm. Not the movie. The movie was horrible. Bleh. Now, there's King Kingpin. There's Daredevil. Daredevil's not a villain. I, I, I am confusing myself. There's Daredevil, Bullseye. Um, Electra could almost be considered a rival, but I'm not going to get into that. I don't even want Electra in this movie at all. So there's Kingpin, Bullseye. Maybe the owl, like kind of a drug dealer kind of idea. I know there's the jester and there's Steelsman, but I don't want to get into either of those characters. They're not that good at all. Um, maybe if they just had an overall kind of mafia gang feeling, like the the whole Bendis run had, that'd be cool. I I, I would I would really go for that. I think that would be pretty cool. So, um, basically, yeah, but, um, characters that I'm probably going to end up naming off exactly what I want in a perfect Daredevil movie, in my opinion, so. Hoorah. Okay, heroes. I want, um, I want Daredevil to be the main character. I don't want any casting choices. I don't want to get into that. So, obviously there'd be Daredevil and Matt Murdock. I want Karen Page as a love interest for Daredevil. I don't want I don't want Electra to get into this. I don't want Electra at all. Just stick to Karen Page. That's all. Um and it'll probably be Foggy Nelson. Um I would like a bit of a cameo like a Luke Cage cameo. That'd be pretty cool. Um I just thought of another villain. Doctor Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I don't Mr. Hyde, I don't, he would be way too much like Hulk, so he wouldn't work at all anyway, so it's not even a valid point. I don't even know why I brought it up. Forget I said it. So like I said, yeah, and Kingpin would have an overall presence, maybe Bullseye in it. And I would almost like the movie to um be not even 50-50 Daredevil Matt Murdock. I want it to be like... 60, 65 percent Matt Murdock, and then then the other Matt Murdock as a lawyer. Then maybe five to ten percent um his origin, maybe like his backstory as a kid, and then um and then just Daredevil. But one thing I really want to fix is I want um I want his origin to be fi to be a bit fixed if they're going to give him an origin. Obviously, if they're doing Born Again, maybe they're just going to show flashbacks of an origin, or maybe they won't even get there at all. At all. But if they're going to do his origin, I I know the origin and everything worked very well in the original director's cut. But one thing I noticed that I didn't like is the fact that um, when Daredevil got his powers in the director's cut, or in the theatrical cut, it's the same thing. In both of them, he was running away from a problem, and he accidentally got in an accident, and he got powers. Now, I like the... I rather like the comic book origin where he gets his powers by saving a blind man who was crossing the street and doesn't notice the truck. 
so because basically the origin of Daredevil in a comic is you know the whole thing like oh you know he's a nerd everyone calls him Daredevil because he doesn't want to risk anything stuff like that but his origin is that not not that he's running away from his dad but the thing is that he sees a blind man crossing the street and the chem the truck full of chemicals or radioactive whatever is coming at this blind man and the blind man obviously doesn't see it so he knocks the blind man out of the way of the truck to save him and then the chemicals get in his eyes and he gets his powers now this shows how heroic he is overall rather than the fact that he runs away from things now, I think that's a good representation of Daredevil and I'd like to see if they actually do do another origin I don't really want them to have to re explain the whole origin again but if they do I want it to be done like that and one thing that I that was brought to my mind in the idea of the Bendis run it just showed me how disturbed Matt Murdock would be is the fact that um blind people recognize others by feeling their face so how would Matt Murdock have felt when his dad was killed and when he felt his dad's face he felt the face of his father but the face that is also destroyed by a bullet that's really dark and when you think about it you, you don't even you just see anything you just think about that I, it didn't show anything in the comic well, I, I think it showed a flashback but it, it just had um was it what's her name Mila Donovan or Mila Murdoch at the time maybe I can't remember if it was official that name but her her she was just explaining that and I, and I was really disturbed by that I, I, it kind of changed my perce perception of Daredevil a bit. So, yeah. That's basically all the Daredevil news on the movie. And also, if they're going to make a Daredevil movie, I don't want it to be called Daredevil. I want it to be called The Man Without Fear. Because that would sound a bit cooler. And I don't want it just... An, I, don't, I don't know. I've just got this thing when they name s movies after superheroes. It just seems lame. But think about it this way. What if instead of The Dark Knight, they called it Batman 2? Or instead of Batman... Well, Batman Begins. That doesn't work. Imagine if they called that, though. The fact that it's called The Dark Knight instead of Batman 2 or some kind of Batman movie really changes your perception. And if they called it The Man Without Fear instead of Daredevil, I, I think it would just change a very good first impression and make a good first impression. Show how dark the movie can be. Well, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. See you later.